it is that time of night. We are going to do a little bit of a mock draft here. And uh, to see what we ultimately uh, end up with. Let me see if I could shift this around and get us looking a little better. All right, perfect. So we're going to start this right now. I believe I did all seven rounds. We'll find out if I screwed this up. All right. And we're just doing stick and pick, right? Stick and pick. So the first three quarterbacks, Marvin Harrison Jr., Malik Neighbors, J.J. McCarthy comes off at the Giants, Joe Alt, Romo Dunze to the Falcons, Dallas Turner to the Bears. I feel like those are probably flip-flopped uh, when all is said and done, but I do think these are going to be the first nine players off the board in front of the New York Jets. So we do have Brock Bowers there. I think we stick with Brock Bowers based on the theme of this particular show, or is there another you know, weapon out there that you, you would kind of see? For the theme of this show... You know, and, and wanting to see what the tackle board looks like later on. Mm -hmm. Yes, we got to stick weapon. Uh, I mean, you know, to me, it doesn't matter if you want to take Brock Bowers, if you want to take another wide receiver here. I'm 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 going to defer to you, Ryan. It's you know, you're the captain. Brock the Bowers, it is, baby. And I'm going to get labeled the Brock Bowers guy on the <laughs> on the You are you board. are a Bowers boy, man. Holy I, shit! No, I'm kidding. I would say I am because of the way we handled free agency. I'm far more uh weapon based i would still have odunze ahead of bowers but if odunze is gone i have no problem going bowers in that selection uh now we are at pick 72 okay uh let's see let's oh. let's go to the offensive tackle ranks oh uh -huh. got got a few people here that we could talk about that we've uh just discussed yeah so are you now i can't see can you scroll down as roger rosegarden i don't know where they have him ranked yeah let's see so Rosengarten, I do know, went at the end of uh, Kuiper's draft. So it is possible he may have already come off the board here. Let me see if I can find him real quick. It doesn't matter. Um, yeah, he went to the Packers at 41. Yeah. Eh, it's probably a little high, but I'm not shocked that he didn't make it to 72 here again. Um, so, hey, listen, here's the deal. You know, you got the guys that we talked about. You got all three of them on the board. You got Patrick Paul, you know, who who's in, you know, He's a really, really good prospect as well. I think Patrick Paul is probably on the same level as guys like Blake Fisher, as guys like Christian Jones, where I don't know if they're, they're guys that you want to plug and play right away. Again, for sense of what we're trying to do in, in terms of, hey, we need to get some depth in here that can step in and play right away in case um, – in, in case – um, T Tyron Smith goes down. I'd probably lean Christian Jones. However, um, man, Dominic Pooney sitting here in the sitting here looking at us in the face. I have him ranked as so much of a higher ranked. He, th I think Pooney will might has a chance to go in the forties where Rosengarten might still be on the board. So I'm going to pretend that Pooney's not here. Um, so you can make an argument for Patrick Paul. He's longer. I think he's going to be – he's going to have a little bit more of a struggle. I'd probably still lead Christian Jones, but I might look elsewhere and come back to Christian Jones in round four, um, knowing that – again, knowing that there's pro there's a possibility that he might last here. So I think if you want to, for the sake of this argument, Ryan, and we want to kind of hone in on the guys that we're drafting, you can look mm -hmm. elsewhere. You can look to fill your running back. You can look to fill your safety role. You can look for another uh, weapon or wide receiver if you wanted to. You can look interior at guys like Tavondre Sweat. Um, you know, Austin Booker, I think, is a great edge, you know, an edge rusher. He's got a little bit of that speed that, you know, that you're missing in Bryce Huff. You got options. I don't know if you have to go tackle here. If Christian Jones is the guy you're honing in on, I think you can hope to hope that he holds off until round four. So I'm cool with holding off. I did put a poll question just to see where people's heads were at. It seems like 47% of people are saying Patrick Paul, 30% say Christian Jones, 23% say Blake Fisher. Uh, what other position would you want to potentially go with it at this pick, knowing that, you know, you might get lucky with one of these tackles falling in the fourth round? Um, I think that, uh, listen, I think the safety room really needs an influx of talent. You know, I, I don't see us going into the, going into the draft with um, Chuck Clark and, and, Jared Bernard Converse and Tony Adams those are only safeties. Um, and I think that's probably where you're going to find it. I think cornerback is another area. I know um, I seem to be in the minority there, but if they haven't, if they haven't re-signed or extended or restructured D 
DJ Reed, there's a good chance that they are going to hope and they don't have to, and he might be gone mm-hmm. next year. You know, uh, especially since you're going to have Sauce coming up in two years and Michael Carter the second coming up next year. I mean, there's a possibility that you're going to want to bring. Yeah, I just don't see them paying three cornerbacks top, you know, ten money. I'll say top ten. You know, we know Sauce is going to get the top. Michael mm-hmm. Carter's probably going to get top five at worst at the position. Um, so I don't know if they're going to go that. I, I don't know if they're going to pay a third. So I think cornerbacks going to probably be um, in play. Anywhere along the defensive line, it's going to be in play. I think we still need one more interior guy. Don, we comes... got four minutes. <laughs> what, what do you I'm, want? I'm, I'm <laughs> telling you. I mean, whatever you want to do, I, I don't care. <laughs> go with, uh, go with, uh, go with Tarantino Sweat. Go with another big guy. That's fine. All right. Well, we'll go with the big guy. Then we roll down to the fourth round. Pick one eleven. Let's see what we got as far as our tackles go. Because I do feel like we got got to take one if we don't. Christian Jones is still here. I feel like that's got to be the take him. Done. Christian Jones off the board, baby. 134 now. And here I and this is where I'd slide in a guy like Braylon Allen. You know, your big compliment complimentary back mm-hmm. to Brees Hall. Let's do it. I know my brother's a big fan of them, so he'll be pretty happy when I send him this after the show. Uh let's see. 185. We got what, three picks left? Yeah, three picks left. Yeah, you need you need to you still need to address the safety room. I think that's an option. You can also look best available offensive talent, whether it's a wide receiver or quarterback, you know, so on and so forth. I definitely agree with safety, and Salah said as much. You know, uh, yeah. Chuck Clark and um, Tony Adams. They, you know, that room's not done, is what he said. So, do you, do you like? Uh, I don't even know how to say that name, but uh, Mr. Anthony. I can't. I can't even see it. Dijon Anthony. D A I. Flick the safety uh, tab down if you can. All right, let's let, let's do the safety tab. Boom. Okay. Uh, Trey Taylor is a nice player. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I, I Katano Ladapo is the guy I'd go with. Absolutely, he's not. You know, realistically, if he's on the board here, I know they have him ranked really low, but if he's on the board, he's a guy I'm jumping on all day long. I think he's got starter. Uh, you know, he's got starter traits right from the get-go. You know, I know he's not going to outbeat Chuck Clark, who'll probably be a third safety to start, but, you know, you can transition into a guy like Oladapo real easily. That's where I would go. So you know what we did not do? We did not take a quarterback <laughs> at all in this in this draft. Yeah, I don't, I, don't I, I don't necessarily think you have to, mm-hmm. to be honest with you. This is who um, we got left as far as quarterbacks, if we did want to take a, a late crack at someone. Yeah, you can wait till the last pick. You make make for oh, yeah, the sake got one of more pick. It's, they're back to back. Oh, are <laughs> it's, they? It's it's one fifty six and one fifty seven. All right. Well, I'll pick um I'll pick one. I'll pick two. Let's go non quarterback and... first because yeah. we can make our Mister Irrelevant our quarterback. Yeah. Um, go to linebacker room. Linebackers. Yeah, I soak up right there. Eddie Olafoscio from Washington. He's a good, you know, like chasing tackle. Um linebacker can that can back up Mosley uh, not Mosley um back up Williams and um you know I just had some depth and some special needs and I'll let you pick the quarterback man I don't care so quarterback I've heard a lot of people you know bring up Sam Hartman that he's you know underwhelming you know could probably go undrafted which is you know this seems accurate based on on what I've heard uh Slovis old uh USC quarterback Correct. now at BYU uh, I think I have PTSD from both those schools right now. <laughs> I, I don't want to touch either one. Uh, I would go Sam Hartman. I, I'm a Notre Dame fan. You know, if 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 he can be the guy, well, tell me a little bit about Sam Hartman. Um, Sam Hartman's old. You know, mm-hmm. probably going to be a 26 year old rookie. Um, listen, here's the deal with Sam Hartman. Not the mo- think of like a dollar store Daniel Jones. Oh, you know, son of a, a bad. dollar store, like a really, really dollar store. Daniel <laughs> We're keeping Jones. Zach as QB three, aren't we? In this, that's situation. what he is. Listen, I, I think Sam Hart. <laughs> I, 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 truth be told, I don't think any of these quarterbacks on this list right here get drafted. But for mm-hmm. this argument, you want to take Sam Hartman? That's fine. He, he's a camp body. He'll be a third round thing. I don't think he'll ever develop into anything more than a clipboard holder if he's lucky. You know, well, that makes me sad, and I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to taint our beautiful draft with drafting someone that will never see the light of day. <laughs> I don't know. Um, do we... As about, yeah, let's see. Andrew Ryan, Andrew Ryan, the, the center from Oklahoma. I, I think he's got some chops there if you want to take him. Um, Boom. Got depth. it. 
what's our grade? They don't like your safety grade. Overall, B, though. We'll take that. Well, they don't like my safety grade because they have him ranked too low. That's all. Because they're wrong. Because they That's are wrong. Right. Yeah. So, hey. Boys and we, girls, we, make we, sure you we, let we... us know what you think of this particular draft. What's up, guys? Matt O'Leary from Talking Jets. If you liked that video, please make sure to subscribe and follow for more New York Jets content.